This abused lion cub pet was close to death, so rescuers knew they had to intervene. Lions are among the most majestic, beautiful animals on the planet, but that doesn't make them good pets. Not only are they dangerous beasts, they're built for the wild rather than domestic captivity. King, a one-year-old lion, didn't have a happy story to tell. In October 2017, he was discovered by the authorities in an apartment in Paris, France. With little room to move and an abusive owner, King was in a sorry state when he was rescued. King has the Born Free Foundation to thank for his initial rescue. Founded in 1984, the Foundation's mission is to protect the lives of creatures both roaming free and in enclosures. It fundamentally disagrees with wild animals being kept in captivity. Once the beleaguered animal was freed from the apartment in Paris, France, Born Free organized for King to be flown to Nature Hope Centrum, located in neighboring Belgium. This rescue center's particular area of expertise is in looking after wild animals that are sick or physically harmed. Having spent his early days in captivity, it came as no surprise that King was uneasy when he arrived at the center. He was vulnerable and felt nervous around people, but nine months recuperation saw a complete transformation in the cub. While he was recovering at Nature Hope Centrum, the Born Free Foundation had planned for King to be moved from Belgium to live at its sanctuary, Shamwari Game Reserve in South Africa. The reserve occupies a staggering 25,000 hectares of land and boasts an enormous array of wildlife. Thankfully, Born Free's bid to take charge of King was successful and the big cat was all set to move to Shamwari Game Reserve. Sure enough, July 2018 marked a new beginning for King as he set off for a new life in South Africa. King was welcomed into South Africa with open arms by the Born Free Foundation. There to meet him were various teams to make sure his transition was as smooth as possible. In video footage showing King's arrival, Vena announced that the majestic feline has traveled very well and is thrilled to be here. The cub has been transported in a large crate and getting it off the plane requires a big team. So far, so good. King has made it safely to South Africa and Vena is elated with how well it's gone. But how will King react to his new home? It's impossible to predict how well an animal is going to settle, especially one who has been through significant trauma. Once it arrives at the reserve, King's crate is carried off the lorry by a large team from the Born Free Foundation. It is then placed next to a gap in the fence around the enclosure and, with bated breath, the team lifts the crate's front panel. Out bounds King. He runs around the enclosure, feeling the ground under his paws and wading through the long grass. He wastes no time in exploring his new surroundings, investigating the trees, sniffing the grass, and basically reveling in this brand new habitat. Of course, Vena is delighted with how King's release is gone. He says this morning's release went very well. He just took off into the main enclosure, which was exciting, and started to explore the new environment. In fact, King is so self-assured in his new environment that he introduces himself to his neighbors, Jorah and Black, right away. These male lions are certainly intrigued by the new arrival. Judging by their roars, King was very welcome to the enclosure and he even starts to imitate them. King's move got off to a flying start and it didn't stop there. Since the cub arrived at the reserve, he's been growing stronger every day. Unlike many new animals who enter the enclosure, King is taken to his new home with confidence and ease. Physically, he's stronger too, and he's been eating and drinking without any problems. No one is happier for King than Vena, who has been watching his progress. Speaking about King's bravery, Vena said fondly, the name says it all, King. 
A brave lion he is because he came right up to the fence, started to look at the neighbors, and I think that's so very brave of him. The short time King has spent at the enclosure has seen such an improvement in his well-being. For Venna, too, it has been an enormous success, and he took the opportunity to thank everyone involved in King's story. Too often, an animal in captivity can be mistreated. The Born Free Foundation is just one body that tackles cruelty experienced by animals in some zoos and circuses. The biggest problem can often be the space that each animal is given, which isn't always sufficient. Born Free is always on the animal side, and in the past 30 years, the organization has exposed numerous cases of animal cruelty in zoos. It's important to remember that an animal's natural instincts and needs to not vanish when they're in captivity. King was lucky, however, and has been reaping the benefits of his rescue. With vast plains to explore and neighbors to interact with, the memory of King's early captivity doubtless seems like a distant dream.